you only need a few things to get started using Cam Scanner. You need a mobile device with the ability to install apps. You need to download the Cam Scanner app from the Play Store or App Store, an internet connection, a cloud account such as Google Drive, Dropbox, etc., and a desire to get rid of the paper in your life. After you have downloaded the Cam Scanner app, locate the icon and tap it to get things started. Cam Scanner's home screen contains the camera button you need to get things started. For the best results, place the item you wish to scan, in this case a business card, onto a contrasting background. I've got a white business card, so I'm using a black background to scan the card. Position your business card in the center of the screen, tap the camera button, and let Cam Scanner do the rest. The next screen allows you to crop the image. It gives you cropping handles. Simply drag the handles to match the edges of the business card. If you used a highly contrasted background like I did, there's very little work involved as Cam Scanner will identify the edges for you. When you are finished dragging the cropping handles, click on the check mark to accept the cropping changes. Cam Scanner will now automatically crop and enhance the image for you. There are additional editing tools across the top. Once you are satisfied with your image, tap on the check mark in the lower right hand corner to continue. After I have scanned the business card, the next step is to get it into the cloud. I'm going to use Google Drive and I've already created a folder in Google Drive called Business Cards. This way I can get to the business cards from either my computer or from my phone or other device. When I save it to the cloud, I'm going to use a PDF file type. This way I can use other programs to recognize the characters and it ensures the most compatibility if I want to share it with somebody else. Because we have not saved this document yet, it prompts us to do so here. Use a naming convention that you can remember. I like to use first name, last name. Some people use last name, first name. It really doesn't matter. Just be consistent. After tapping the Save button, the business card is automatically uploaded into the Google Drive. Next, we'll have a look at scanning a full sheet of paper, such as an agenda or a form for a meeting. Scanning a two-page form is the same process as a business card. Put the form on a black background, tap the camera button, crop it, save it, and when you get to the Save screen, you're going to use the Add Additional Pages button to add a second page. All scans are shown in this view. Choose the scan you wish to work with. Click Save to upload the document to the cloud. Let's look and see how the cam scanner scans turned out on a desktop computer. Let's look at the scan quality of the form. As we zoom in, you can see the detail of the numbers are quite good.